Good morning, guys. Here's Omari. <laughs> he just woke up, so he's not really feeling it right now. It is 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm fixing Omari a bottle. His morning bottle. <sighs> <laughs> so adorable but yes so this is where we're gonna get our day started Omari's eight months now <clears throat> and now he's taking about um like an eight ounce bottle so big bottle from a big boy three Good morning, man. Four. Okay. You got my lid? You got my lid? Mm-hmm. Okay, so. Oh. Did <laughs> I splash you? Okay, so I'll give him this in a second. I'm going to change his diaper as well. Two things I do every time he wakes up. Diaper, bottle, immediately. Or my man goes insane. You want the puppy? Can you wreck him? Um, so, yeah. Hey, handsome boy. Omari did not sleep good last night, y'all. So, I'm going to be on top of his routine better today. So that hopefully he'll sleep better tonight. He was mad when I woke him up because he was not ready to get up. But I was like, no, we can't, we can't have a repeat of last night. Also, <clears throat> speaking of uh, fixing the bottle... I got this different formula. So usually Omari takes uh, the Gerber Good Start Soothe Pro. But y'all, it was recalled. It was recalled last month for having um, some big, long, crazy word in it. Um, and so they took it off the shelf. <sighs> Little did I know. But, um, I had, what, seven cans of it? We went through five of the cans. Everything good. I get down to the last two cans, and Mari starts having symptoms. Um, he starts spitting up. He starts with diarrhea. Um, he has this rash. So, we had to throw that formula away. We threw it out. I called the people. Um, they recalled it. Um, I guess that's the company, right? Sorry. Mom brain at 8 o'clock in the morning. Leave me alone. So, um... <laughs> but, um, and then I got a refund. Um... And then they recommended the closest thing to it would be the Gentle Pro. So, <clears throat> that's what we're using right now. Uh, he seems to be doing fine with it. Hey, baby. Hey, smiley butt. Hey, smiley. He seems to be doing fine with it. So, that's what we're rocking and rolling with. Uh, his diarrhea has went down. Like, it's less frequent. Um... But it's still there. I'll see how he is today. And if it's like no improvement today, I'm gonna call his um call his doctor, call his pediatrician. And <laughs> you're so cute. Call his pediatrician and set up an appointment. No. Don't be yawning, you're not sleepy. You're not sleepy. Boop. So, 
my baby. Say hi, Yuck. Say hey, guys. Say hey, guys. Mommy's hair is crazy. Say hey, guys. Say mommy looks crazy, but I look cute. <laughs> so, let me change your diaper. Change your bottom. Where did you get? Oh, no, that was mine. <laughs> I was like, where did you get a pin from? But that was my pin. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, so. See, no diarrhea right now. Uh, I'll see if anything pops up later. He did have some at uh, 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I'm hoping it, it's just progressively getting better. I hate my baby being sick or not feeling well, which is odd because while he's been having the diarrhea, his mood hasn't changed at all. He's still been happy. He's still been playful. He's still been, you know, wanting to have fun like he usually does. So that's good. It's hard when your baby's sick or not feeling well and then, you know, they're like sad or, you know, just irritable. It's hard to watch as a parent, so I'm glad he hasn't been that. Um, anyways, next, I want to talk to y'all about the Dreamland Baby Weighted Sleep Sack. Okay. Because he slept in that for the first time last night. Um, hmm. I don't know about that, y'all. He seemed like he wasn't really concerned about it. When he was watching Miss Rachel. He watches Miss Rachel, yes. Um, but then once <laughs> the TV went off. It's like he was like, wait a minute, wh what am I trapped inside of? Like, his feet were kicking, legs were moving. He was just kind of like, I don't like this. Um, he slept in it for three hours. But then the rest of the night, he was, bless you. He was up. He was up. <laughs> he was up. Uh, I think that was partially my fault. And because yesterday when he wasn't feeling well, I kind of let him do what he wanted to do. I let him uh, take longer naps. I let him, you know, <laughs> go to bed a little bit late. He was me. And so, gee. So, uh, that was partially my fault, probably. So, I'm going to do better today. Look at him. Look at you standing. Y'all, he's getting so good at standing without holding on. He's going to be walking soon, and I'm literally going to cry. So, this is the one I have. It's the Dreamland um, Weighted Sleep Sack. And this is the size medium, 6 to 12 months, 15 to 24 pounds. I was skeptical. I thought Omori wasn't going to be able to fit this. Because the last time he went to the doctor when he was 6 months, which was 2 months ago, he was 19 pounds and 15 ounces. So I was like, surely he has to be <laughs> um, a lot bigger than that now. But he can fit it. He fits it real good. So... This is the one we got in ocean blue. Did I pay full price for this? Absolutely not. Because these are $90. Ridiculous. Absolutely not. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's kind of like a... Um, say an eBay or... Oh, no. Let go. Like a let go or um, any of the other... My trash is your treasure type of websites or apps. Um, so I got this off of Facebook Marketplace. 
for forty dollars. Like I said, it's usually ninety dollars. I got it for forty dollars. So literally, what is that? Fifty? Is that fifty-five percent off? I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I literally got this one. Um, it was the lady. She lived like fifteen minutes away from me. I was like, oh girl, I'm pulling up, and I'm gonna get that. So I got that, and um, yeah, um, like I said, when he was distracted watching Miss Rachel, he didn't mind it. Um, when I put him to sleep and he slept for three hours, he seemed to like it, but once he woke up at like two o'clock in the morning after he um, used his diaper, he he was fighting this thing. He was fighting it. Weren't you fighting it? Weren't you fighting it? He was fighting this thing. Uh, but he did eventually go back to sleep wearing it. And he wore it all night. So, like I said, it might have just been me and how I messed up his routine yesterday. Um, so, I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to keep trying it for at least a week so that I can give my full review on it. Um, it is weighted. It's heavier than I thought, but I love it because my son needs a weight to go to sleep because, um, ever since he was born, like the newborn first came out, he's been sleeping with, don't drag me in the comments. He's been sleeping with cover. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. He's been sleeping with cover. So he's eight months old now and he's used to sleeping with cover he's used to sleeping with a comforter but now that omari is more mobile um rolling front to back back to front side to side around around um sitting up sitting down pulling up standing up i don't want him in that crib with no cover um and not until after he's one month up uh, not one month lord not until after he's one year old because now he's now he's able to like really get himself tangled up in a, in a bond um and one day when he was taking a nap i came upstairs to check on him i have a baby monitor too but i came upstairs to check on him and the cover was like rolled up and he had went from his back and like I guess flipped over to his front and his face was in the cover and his like butt was in the air and it scared it scared the life out of me. So I said, okay, no more cover. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm gonna keep using this for a week and then I'll give my actual full review. Um let's see. Yeah. So it's definitely big enough for him. It's long enough for him. However, I feel like he gets any taller, he's going to be too long for it, which is insane. I wish they would make him longer. Um, and my baby likes to kick, too, so that's another thing. But in here, these little squares, it's like the same, the same stuff that's inside of a bean bag, you know, like the bean bags you toss or you play cornhole or something. Bless you, baby. Um, it's like the same stuff inside of here, if you can hear it. And that's what weighs it down. It's way from the top to the bottom, but the back is not. <clears throat> I did see reviews where um, some moms whose babies are stomach sleepers Amari is a stomach sleeper or a side sleeper. Um, they put it on reverse. So instead of putting the weighted part on like the baby's stomach, they put the weighted part on the baby's back. Um, so I tried both of those ways last night. He did not like this on his back. It was better on his stomach. Um... But then he did eventually go to sleep for the rest of the night with it on his back. So I really don't know. Like I said, last night was just crazy. So I'm going to have to try it again. But I'm definitely going to get at least my money's worth out of this thing. Because I paid $40. 
which is totally better than $90, but still. Um, I'm gonna make another video. What do you have? They don't chew on your wipes. But, um, I'm gonna make another video talking about the Baby Magic Merlin sleep suit that I have. Um, and I'll probably do a comparison between the Baby Magic Merlin and the Dreamland Baby. So, yeah. I look crazy again it's eight o'clock in the morning and i am a mom um who is also sleep deprived so <laughs> i'm gonna feed omari his bottle y'all he's starting to hold his bottle on his own and it's making me tear up oh, my baby's not such a baby anymore oh my god you're gonna expose me my baby's not such a baby anymore um but yeah, we're gonna go ahead with our morning and <laughs> you excited? Ah, and I'll check back in with you guys. All right, hold on. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel our chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, let me know what you do. That's why I'm fine. my life with you. I wanna please you in any way I can. I wanna share my world. Don't you understand? all right y'all so i am downstairs in my kitchen i have omari right there he's having some playtime, and i also got some elmo on the tv um I usually let Mari watch TV when I'm cooking, which is what I'm about to do now. I'm about to fix me some breakfast. Um, I was thinking maybe some turkey sausage, turkey bacon, eggs, throw some cheese and spinach in there. Maybe add in some grape tomatoes. I don't know. Or pineapple or something. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this thing where I don't have any carbs. Um, for breakfast. Well, I don't want any carbs at all, but I got to work my way to that. Uh, so I try to have like a carb free breakfast and kind of like a keto type deal. So that's that. Um, what time is it? Okay. In about 20, about 20 minutes, I'm going to give Mari some, uh, solid food. So I'll probably give him him, let me see. Probably give him some green beans. He loves green beans. Be a nice little treat. Oh, look at his high chair. So this is new. Um, he used to have a really small one. I'll pop a picture of it in here to let you guys see it. Um, but I got him a big boy one now, and it's so cute. I got this for $20 at uh the mystery box warehouse so yeah again i looked on facebook marketplace that's where i got it y'all i mean check y'all local um facebook marketplace let go what have you y'all there be some deals for real there be some deals so yeah first while omar is occupied i'm uh do the dishes while I cook uh, because that'd be the only way I can really get stuff done is um, while he's occupied. So I gotta clean my kitchen, I gotta do the dishes, I gotta cook, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I gotta give Mario the rest of his bottle. I'll give it with his food or something like that. So. You know what? I might drink one of my protein shakes. Because I'm really not feeling that hungry. So I might drink a shake. And just 
see how I'm feeling after that. But yeah. Okay, so I don't look as crazy as I did earlier. Um, you know, kinda, kinda cute, kinda cute now. But um, I'm not big on Omari watching TV, but I'm also not a stickler to oh he can't watch TV. Cause I'm like, he gonna do it regardless. I mean, <laughs> he's gonna do it regardless. Um, if it isn't me, it's gonna be somebody else somewhere else. You know what happened. And also I have this theory, just me, just a theory. Uh, not so much for babies, but more so for like, you know, just kids. Um, I feel like the more you deprive them of these things, the more they want it, the more they obsess over it when they get it. The more they um, <clears throat> are addicted to it, because um, you deprive them of something. And you know, as humans, uh, not just kids, humans, period, when you tell us we can't have something, that makes you want, to, want it more. So, um, my plan is not to deprive Omari of anything that isn't harmful, like, you know, detrimental. Um, but of course, there's a limit. There's a, a balance, a healthy balance. So, like right now with Omari, the TV is on, but he just got in his swing. So it's like, you know, it's nice to have it playing he enjoys, you know, hearing it, listening to it, but he doesn't have to sit there and look at it the whole time. Um, anyways, this is also the only way I'm able to cook or clean my kitchen, so it's kind of what I have to do. Um, and that's what I'm going to do right now is cook and clean my kitchen. I'm going to try to get dinner started for tonight. Um, I'm not very hungry, so I don't know if I want to cook breakfast. Hold on. I'm sorry. Look on the table. Is this cereal box shaped like a circle? No, that's shaped like a rectangle. Mari. It goes tick tock. Oh, yeah. The little circle is the Thank you for helping Elmo find the circles. <laughs> Boy, shapes are so cool. Oh, and that makes Elmo wonder even more. Oh, does Mr. Noodle know that shapes? But yeah, so I'm not really that hungry, so I'll probably just get dinner prepared for tonight clean my kitchen, wash my dishes, and maybe I'll make me like a peanut butter jelly and banana sandwich or something. I don't know. But right now I'm drinking my Premier Protein Shake. It's the caramel flavor. Y'all, I think this is the best freaking flavor. These things are so good. I, I first started drinking these um, after I had Omari when I was like real... That sounds crazy. I wasn't gonna say real postpartum, but when I was early in my first, my fourth trimester, I started drinking these. Um, now I constantly drink them because this is the best tasting protein shake I have ever, ever, ever had. This brand. I've had the vanilla one. I've had uh, obviously the caramel one. Um, is that it? I think I had another one. <clears throat> like a coffee flavor? I don't know, but those are the best to me. So now, I'm going to try to bust these dishes back. I have a whole lot of dishes in my sink right now, y'all. 
and I'm really not ashamed of it. <laughs> I'm really not ashamed of it. I had a busy weekend. <clears throat> Omari was sick this weekend. He, I told y'all earlier, he's been dealing with this uh, diarrhea and spitting up thing. So that was all this weekend. On top of that, my sister had a camp out um, where she invited a bunch of her friends and family um and we camped in her backyard she has a really big backyard and it was fun uh what else oh my parents came into town this weekend as well um what else for those of you that don't know my parents live like two hours away so, they came into town. What else happened? Friday. Friday. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, anyways. I'm not ashamed of the amount of dishes in my sink right now, honestly. But the, the point is, I'm busting them back. So, that's what matters. So, what else can I update y'all on? Oh, I'm currently a stay-at-home mommy. DeAndre, y'all know. Y'all know DeAndre. Goes to work. And I stay at home and take care of Omari. And take care of the house. Cooking, cleaning. Um... Things like that. But, I was saying that to say, I'm sorry, I got distracted. I was saying that to say, hopefully, pretty soon, I'm going to be a work at home mommy. I have an interview next week. What's wrong, Omari? I have an interview next week, next Tuesday, um, for a work from home job. I've been doing work from home from like the uh, past three years. So, you know, now that I have Omari, I'm just gonna keep with it. Um, but it's for a job where I'll be able to have Omari with me and not um, run into issues that I ran into with my last job. With my last job, my long-term job, um, I had to quit, essentially. Oh, that's my mama texting me. But I had to quit, essentially, because when we first got home and it was about time for me to start back to work, Omari was really, uh, he was really young, and he wasn't able to, you know, not need, not need me, he needed me, you know, he relied on me, he was a newborn, he was just a little baby, um, and then he also wasn't, you know, able to be quiet, didn't really know, you know, he, he didn't know anything, he was a baby, he couldn't, you know, sit there quietly while I'm talking on the phone. He couldn't um, wait until my breaks to be hungry. So, I had to really just leave that job because it was not working out for me. It was not working out for him. Um, I don't have childcare, and I'm not really into... Uh, putting baby babies in daycare. Um, not shaming any mother who does. That's your preference. But my preference, I wouldn't put uh, my baby 
in daycare, especially not younger than six months old. I'm not doing it. Um, so yeah, we've had to adjust and adapt, but I feel like that's what you do when you have kids. You adjust, you adapt, you make sacrifices. Um, <clears throat> you figure things out. So we've been fine. We've really, we've been good. Especially the last few months, we've been almost great, really. So there's that. But next week, I do have an interview for uh, a nice, a really nice work from home job where I'll have a lot of flexibility, a lot of, um, I guess, freedom per se. I'm not going to go too much into the job, but yeah. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, I get it. Praying that I get it. Um, and then I'll be a work from home mommy, which is still cool. And I will still be posting mommy content instead of, I guess, stay at home mommy content. It'll be work from home mommy content, but you know. <clears throat> is what it is. Oh, Mari. Mario crawled in the kitchen. Lord. Let's see. What you doing? Uh, what else can I update you guys on? <laughs> um what else about me oh guys i got a car um at the end of february i got a car it is a 2010 toyota prius and i am super excited about it y'all my last car oh my last car mm, that was sad it was sad um my last car basically i got into a wreck <laughs> and I didn't have any car insurance at the time. Um, I was not at fault, but yeah, the car was pretty much total. So anywho, it was it was actually crazy because the lady, it was like an older, a older lady, she hit me like she ran into me. Um, my light was green when I was turning left. And she, yeah, she was going straight. Um, I was, say, coming this way, going left. She was coming from this way. So, as I was turning, she literally bumped into me and made my car. Yeah. So, hey, Mari. It was pretty bad. I was so sad. I was, I cried. I was traumatized. I was traumatized. I did not want to drive. Um, ever again, <laughs> but I'm so happy that I have me a car again now. So, <clears throat> anywho, what else? Amari, why are you pulling on my dress? Why are you pulling on my dress? Yeah. Oh, it's time for Mari's solids. I need to put these dishes down so I can feed well, Mari his solids. And then I'll come back to him. I'm really trying to go on a schedule, y'all, for real. Like, I've been on Google. I've been on YouTube. I've been really trying to get him a schedule down pat especially like before i start working and like definitely before he turns one i need like some type of um yeah so especially before he turns one i need to get his sleep down i need to get well he's pretty good at eating but still eating uh, solid food, self-feeding, all that, you know, down. Um, 
I don't know. I just want to be consistent in Murray and his daily schedule. And I want to be consistent in my daily schedule so that I'm not a just overtired, overstimulated, sleep-deprived, cranky mommy. I don't want to. I don't want that to be me. <laughs> Overworked. I don't want to be done that. So. I really want to be, you know, present for my son. I really want to be happy. Because I feel like that's the best. That's the best um, parenting you can give when you're, when you're good, that's when your parenting can be good, that's when your child will be good, so, um, gotta check on him every couple of seconds, cause he'll pick something up from the floor and try to eat it real quick, um, but yeah, so, I just wanna be good, oh, also, update, I started real estate school, so I'm going for my, oh, one second. I'm going for my broker's license. Yes, I started at Superior, a school of real estate is here in Charlotte. And yeah, I started that. When did I start that? the beginning of March. So it's been like a month now. It's been going great. I'll finish in August. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Little boy noises are so funny. I've, I've just figured out like a lot of the noises he makes are literally little boy noises. <laughs> so yeah, I'll finish in August, and I'm very excited about that. So, I chose real estate school because um, when I was on Google, of course, I was always on Google, and on YouTube, and doing my little research, I found that that was a common thing, like real estate for single moms, even though I'm not a single mom, me and... My child's dad, DeAndre, uh, we're very much together. Um, <clears throat> I was looking for single mom jobs because I want to be, I want to be successful myself. Um, I want to be well off myself. For myself and my son. Um, and you never know what could happen. Um, nobody knows the future. So it's important to me to be well off, successful, um, comfortable myself for me and my son. Rather than um, basing everything off of a... Uh, Two parent household. Basically, I want to be able to take care of my son myself. Whether you're, whether um, a man is here or not, I want to be able to take care of me and my son myself. Um, so yeah, kind of like a I want you but don't need you situation. <laughs> not that. Not that that would ever happen with me and DeAndre. Not that we're even thinking about that. It's nothing like that. It's purely me thinking about Omar. That's what it is. So. And then also, another thing, the reason I was looking at single mom jobs is because I want to be present Oh, okay. Let me stop doing these dishes. Basically, I want to be present for Omari. And I want to be active in his life. 
So like school, um, events, sports, games, extra, extracurricular activities, what have you. I want to be present. I want to be active. And I want to be there for my son. And I want to be... <clears throat> I really want to, you know, watch him grow up and be there. So with real estate, I can make my own schedule. I can work when I want to work, work the hours I want to work. I can make a good amount of money. And certain things he can go with me. Um, yeah, I just want to be the best mommy. I just want to be the best mommy. So I just base everything off of my son. And I love him so much. All right, let's eat. So Amari just ate <clears throat> his solids for this morning. <coughs> but then he started getting upset. So we stopped. He's getting a little tired, so he'll take a nap soon. I'm going to try to push it another hour. Get him to take a nap at 11. And mwah, he has some green beans. He ate mm, maybe an ounce. Um, it's a four ounce container. He ate maybe one. So he still has a three that I'll probably give him later. Yeah. You want to eat it later? And then he still has um, two ounces of milk left. You fool, man. You say I'm fool and I'm sleepy. And you keep putting this camera in my face. So, he did have another bowel movement um i just changed his diaper um tmi you can fast forward a few seconds if you don't want to hear um but it was thicker than it had been it was watery um over the weekend it seems to be thickening up so uh hopefully his diarrhea will be gone soon and he'll get to feeling better. But yeah, I just wanted to to check in. Oh, I'm watching Shane. Shane Dawson. And his conspiracy theories. Oh my God, if I can set this. Does anybody else like Shane Dawson? I love him. I'm going to let him play just a little bit more until 11. It's after 10 at this point now so then he's gonna go down for a nap okay 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 <laughs> hey guys so i am back I put Mari down for a nap. I'm gonna let him nap for about an hour and a half. That's what my schedule says to do. Um, then I'm gonna wake him up. I'll probably wake him up about um, 12.45. So, cause he was supposed to take his first nap at 11. I didn't get him asleep until about 11.15, so. Um, 12.45 it is. Not a big difference. Um, so yeah, he's taking his nap now. And I just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys a little bit more. Um, so, I just came across a video. It's like going pretty viral on Facebook. Um, and I didn't watch the whole thing because me, um, I'm real sensitive, real emotional, uh, real, um, not even real sensitive, real emotional. I'm, uh, 
I'm very empathetic and sympathetic. Uh, so I, like if I'm, if I experience the situation and I see someone else going through a similar situation, um, it does affect me. It does uh, trigger my emotions. Um, or on the opposite end, if I never been through a certain situation and I see someone going through a certain situation, again, it triggers my emotions. Um, so the video was of this black woman who um, had just given birth and during birth, you know, she she pushed out a, a happy, healthy baby, but she passed during during birth. Um, she had the baby, but then she she died. Um, and you know that video really, really triggered my emotions um, because. That's heavy. That's that's heavy, and that's devastating. That's so sad. That's so horrible. I feel for the baby. I believe it was a baby girl. Um, I feel <laughs> for her. She's never gonna get her mother. Um, that's man. And then to grow up and hear how your mother died. Your mother past having you that's a bird and nobody would ever ever want and I just feel for that baby I feel for the mother she's not gonna get to raise her baby she's not gonna get to be there for her baby um I feel for the the child's father I don't know if he was in in the hospital when it happened. I don't know if he's active in her or the uh, child's life, but I feel for him just like that. Now you're a single parent. What are you gonna do? Um, and if they were together, the person you love, like look what just happened. Your baby, your daughter, look what she's gonna have to go through. It was just, oh. That video was, it was real heavy on my heart. Um, the mother of the the um, woman who passed, um, y'all, like, and it just, it really, it really triggered something in me because it made me think, like, how many women, how many girls are out here getting pregnant and just popping out babies for any and everybody. And that's not the shame. This is not a, a shame video. I'm not saying that. I'm saying it as look what we go through. <laughs> look what we have to deal with. Look, look what goes on in a woman's life. Um you're literally putting your life on the line to pop out another life. And I just feel like that needs to be more sacred. It needs to be more, we need to care. We need to care about ourselves and um, what we put ourselves through more. It's sad because I can only imagine like, you know, how many, and I'm going I'm to make it racial a little bit, sorry, but how many black women, because that's my community, ugh, my community, that's what I know. I know several black girls who have had babies by men who didn't want them or didn't want the baby or wanted nothing to do with neither one of them. Um was harmful or hurtful uh, to them during their pregnancy and it wasn't treated like I just I don't know I don't really know what I'm trying to say I guess it's like the sacrifices we make as women 
it, these things are so serious. These things are so real. Um, stuff like this happens. It really does, and it happens every day. And I wish women would be, would care about themselves more. And I'm not saying this was her situation. I don't know her situation at all. It just, just seeing what she, what she just went through, um, what just happened to her. Oh, it, it made me think to certain people's situations that I know in my personal life. And it's like, girl, <laughs> girl, there is so much that goes into pregnancy. There's so much that goes into childbirth. There's so much that goes into motherhood, parenting, and you need to make sure that this is fucking worth it. I'm sorry, y'all, because it ain't for the week. <laughs> it's not for the week. That's just what it made me think of. It made me think of, like, just women valuing that themselves more, um, loving themselves more, men being men, stepping up to the plate, doing what they're supposed to do, taking responsibility, accountability. I say this all the time. Um, to Dre, uh, my boyfriend, accountability, accountability. It's That's my biggest thing. Uh, because to me, accountability isn't just saying, oh, I messed up. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, I should have done that. That's not accountability. Yes, you're you're acknowledging what you did, but are you fixing it? Are you changing? Are you learning from it? That's accountability. Accountability is acknowledging what you, acknowledging your wrong and fixing it. Literally owning up to your BS whatever you did, and change it. It's both. It's not one or the other. Um, so, yeah. Anywho, I just want women who are getting pregnant, thinking about getting pregnant, um, whatever, to really, like, make sure you're doing it for you. Make sure you're doing it for you um, because ain't nobody going to be on that bed, on that table, but you. And that's just facts. So, anywho, let's get on a happier note. <clears throat> So, um, Omari is sleeping, like I said. Um, I put him on his Dreamland baby sleep sack that I was talking about earlier. And, I mean, he fought it a little bit. But I think he was just so sleepy that he just, he just went to sleep. So, there's that. I'm gonna keep putting it on him every time he goes to sleep, every time he takes a nap, so that hopefully he'll be used to it. Like I said, I wanna use it for a week. And see if you like it. I think that's long enough to, you know, actually test it out. But me, I'm just finishing up these dishes that I didn't get to finish earlier. And then I must start on dinner. Like start at least prepping and getting a lot of it out of the way so that I'm not struggling later. Like, Cause I'll be struggling, yeah, I'll be struggling. Especially with trying to get Omari to bed at a good time and um, trying to have my stuff on a, 
a good schedule with what I need to do and what Omari needs to do. I be struggling sometimes, but I'ma get it together. But that's pretty much all I wanted to come on here for was the talking about that video and how it just made me so sad. It really did. It broke my heart. I couldn't watch the whole thing. Um again, I don't know what happened to her. I don't know what her situation was. Um I don't know, but I know that she lost her life. That poor baby girl lost her mother. And I hate it. I hate it. I really do. Look who's awake, everybody. Say hey. Say hey. Y'all don't mind that back there. I took our box spring from... Oh my gosh, Mari. I took our box spring from under our mattress because the bed was too hard. Anyway. Oh, and then I took one of the sides off of Mari's crib because we're sleep training and we're figuring this thing out. So, hold on. So, I'm about to change Omari's diaper. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's gonna drink his bottle. And then I guess we'll go back downstairs so that I can uh, start cooking and <laughs> he's so cute so that I can start cooking and then we'll probably come back up here so I can work on some of my schoolwork <clears throat> so yeah um What a big yawn for such a small baby. So, DeAndre has school today as well. So, I have to give him the laptop once he gets here. Um, but then I can use our computer. Or he might use the computer. We alternate for real. So, with us both being in school, it's really a blessing to have a computer and a laptop. No poop. No poop. No poop, y'all. This is a big step. Like, honestly, I'm assuming it's going to be nothing but, like, moms. Maybe dads watching this video. Um, parents, caregivers, what have you. So, hopefully y'all are not completely grossed out by the talk of poop. Um... But, y'all, I'm happy. I'm happy that my baby's starting to feel better. So, no poop. All right. And I think I mentioned earlier, like, even when he did poop, he, um, it was, not as wet, not as watery as it has been. So, really hope he's getting better. <clears throat> if it gets back watery or more frequent, then I'm going to set him up for a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And I'll take him up to his pediatrician. So... Hey, man. You still got that booger in your nose. So I'm just going to take it out. It's been here since 8 o'clock this morning. <laughs> yeah. So. Yep, that's what I'll do. Bring Mari downstairs with me. Let him play. Let him, um... Do his thing. Mari gets a lot of floor time every day. 
a, a lot of floor time. So, I think that's why he's advanced with moving. Because I make sure I give him a lot of floor time. I mean, he's been moving like crazy since he was, what, six months old? <laughs> so... I, I just know he'll be walking soon. I just know he will. Y'all, I'm really weird. I fold his diapers up. I don't know if y'all just saw that whole shebang I just did. But I fold him up like this. Every single time, every single diaper. Because I feel like it holds that smell in better. And then I have little um, lavender scented diaper bags. That I twist and not hold the scent in better. Just a little tidbit. Just a little tip. So, yeah, we finna do that. I'm finna get this booger out his nose. He's gonna scream. It's a whole thing. Uh, then I'm gonna give him his bottle. And then we'll go downstairs. Mm. Until then, I'm gonna be watching Annie Elise and her new video. While I feed my baby his bottle. I'll talk to y'all soon. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, let me know what you do. That's why I'm fine. my life with you. I wanna please you in any way I can. I wanna share my world. Don't you understand? Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me to love. Everything about you, your smile, your style, so fly. Here tonight, I got a crush on you, and that's true. Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. So, I'm about to change Mari's diaper, but hey man. Hey man. Um, yesterday's vlog kind of ended abruptly because I started having some difficulties, but we are back. You really didn't even. This isn't even wet. Good job, man. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> but anyways, um, I know. You got a pee pee. But um, yeah, it ended abruptly. Had a little bit of difficulties, but. We are back today. We are vlogging again. Um, you done? 
Amari just woke up from a nap. Mm -mm -mm. It was his first nap of the day. He took it pretty late, but... Uh, well, I know y'all know yesterday, if you watched the vlog yesterday, I was like really trying to stick to a schedule and things like that. Hopefully, you know, hoping that Amari would sleep better that night he did not <laughs> it was still the same so i'm not even pressuring myself today i'm just going like how we usually go about our day and that's gonna be that um also if you watched the vlog yesterday i talked about omari's stomach issues they are still going on unfortunately so I caught his pediatrician this morning um, to get a doctor's appointment set up. So there's that. I called because I knew he had an appointment coming up this month, but I didn't know what day and how soon. Because if his appointment was soon uh, for his, what is it? nine month checkup then I would have just waited until then but it's not it's at the end of this month it's um the 24th and I don't want to make him wait that long with his stomach problems so called and got that set up this morning and then we'll just go back at the end of the month no biggie but here's my man hey Hey! <laughs> Here's my guy. <laughs> you my guy? <laughs> Mwah. But yeah, so... Uh, had to get that set up because... Yesterday I was saying that it was... Like, thickening up. It wasn't as runny or watery as it was. Uh, but today... It's been right back runny, right back watery. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so there's that. And then, oh, I was telling y'all about the recall on his formula. Um, I finally found a big can of the replacement formula so that's good uh, that's actually what i got y'all propped up on right now so um he usually takes the soothe pro but he has to do the gentle pro right now since the soothe pro is recalled which is awful that is so awful um we're thinking that's what has omari's tummy a little messed up right now but We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So, anyway, even if that wasn't the cause of his tummy troubles, he would still have had to switch formula because they took the Soothe Pro off of the shelf completely. So, you want mommy's earrings so bad. So bad. Y'all hear his white noise in the background? My bad. I forgot it was even on. I have it on so much. I will literally tune it out now. But. Let's see. I'm about to. Probably go prep dinner. What time is it? It's like. It's about to be 3 o'clock. So I'm going to go prep dinner, probably just go ahead and cook it all the way out. After that, I need to get some laundry done. No, no, no. Dirty. Dirty. Stinky. No, no, no. Oh, you see a baby monitor? So I hung his baby monitor up on the wall because what I was doing was just sitting it on like the edge of the crib 
Um, and that was fine when he was younger. But now that Omari's eight months and he's uh, sitting up on his own, standing up on his own, um, and like walking around, holding on to stuff. Yeah, um, he's too mobile for it to sit on the edge of the crib. Because what he'll do is he'll, like, if he wakes up and he sees it, he'll get up and he'll grab it, pull the cord out, try to chew on the cord, try to put the camera in his mouth. So I put it up on the wall. It's real ghetto. I'm not going to show y'all. <laughs> I am not Bob the Builder. But it's on the wall. It's up there with some tape. But it works. That's right, doesn't it? Say it work. Yeah. But yeah. Um. One down. Come on. Boom. Um. So yeah. I'm about to go fix dinner. I think I'm going to do bulgogi noodles. It's like a Korean dish. And Amari's going to play. He's going to have some floor time. Um, then we're going to come up and I'm going to do some laundry. And yeah. First you need a bottle. And you need to finish your bottle from earlier so let's do that first Mari come here okay so Mari's finishing up his uh, bottle from earlier um then that's then I'll go downstairs and cook and he'll get him some floor time in I'm really big about floor time because I feel like he needs to that's how he learns how to move. That's how he'll learn how to become mobile and, you know, make his way through the house and stuff. So, I'm real big on floor time. He gets a lot of floor time every day. I think I talked about this in the video yesterday. I probably did. But anyway... Oh, update. Update on the Dreamland, what is it called? Dreamland weighted baby sleep sack. So, I told y'all I was going to uh, have Omari wear it every time he goes to sleep for a week um, to see if he'll get adjusted to it. So, last night, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. So, last night, no, it wasn't, it, it wasn't giving what it was supposed to give, for real, because he, it wasn't, it wasn't helping him sleep, it wasn't, it wasn't changing the game, basically, um, until, what, 6 o'clock this morning? I finally caved in and I took it off of him. I changed his diaper. He did, um, you know, he got his diarrhea going on. So he did use, use his diaper. Um, I changed him. I gave him a bottle. And then I put the sack back on, but I put it on backwards. So the weighted part was on his back instead of on the front um i did that because i saw a lot of reviews on their website saying some people had to do that for it to work for their baby like for their baby to go to sleep uh because their baby was like back wait stomach sleepers that's what it is um so essentially they needed the weight on their back because they were laying on their stomach. Um, and Omari is a stomach sleeper. So, I, I did it. I tried it. And at 6 o'clock in the morning, I kid y'all not, I put that thing on him. 
And he literally laid down and went to sleep by himself. <laughs> Y'all, I was so mad. I was so mad because I'm like, yo, if that was all it took, I would be real pissed. Real pissed. Real pissy. Because um, I woke up, what, four times last night? <laughs> it, it was not, not a good night. But, um... Yeah, when I put it on backwards, had the weight on his back, he he laid, he was in my bed. He laid out, stretched out on his stomach, and knocked out like a light. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So, I mean, hey, it worked. It, he definitely went to sleep on his own. I didn't have to pat him, hold him, rock him, nothing. Then, I wanted to test out the theory again. So, for his nap that he just woke up from not too long ago, that was at 12, 12, 15. I put the suit on him again. I put it on backwards like I did before. Had the weight on his back. And y'all, the same thing. He literally, he was in my bed. He stretched out. Laid out on his stomach and went to sleep on his own. I was like, yo, this little dreamland magic. Wait, whoop, I'm mixing up the names. Dreamland baby weighted sleep sack. And this thing might be, might be a game changer. It might be. Because, hey, bookie, bookie, loves. But, um... When I put this thing on him backwards, it goes in. It goes in for real. But I don't know. I'm going to try it again tonight. I'm going to see if it works. See if this thing is a fluke. Um, And I'll keep y'all updated. I'll let y'all know. I'm going to do a whole video on the Dreamland sleep suit. Um... And the baby magic Merlin sleep suit. And I'ma let you know something. You done got up. You don't want no more? You don't want no more? No, you don't want to sit still. Say I want some more. I just don't want to sit still. <sighs> Eight month olds, so what are we gonna do? Y'all, my baby is gonna be Nine months at the end of this month. What do you mean? What? Like, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna literally cry. I've been trying to get his birthday party planned out uh, for his first birthday. I told everybody I'm gonna have something set in stone by May. Uh, two months before his birthday, I'm going to have something set in stone for, like, um, anybody who wants to come needs to make, what's the word? I don't know, needs to make some type of adjustments in their schedule. Um, I know a lot of his dad's side of the family, um, they're out of town in Georgia and such, so... I want to make it well in advance so everybody can be there. And... Yeah, so uh, we're debating. Me and my mom have been working on it. We're debating between this, like, bouncy place or... Mari, no, no. No, no. No. Hi, no. Okay. Um. Or this water place. So, we'll see. Mari loves both. He loves bouncing. He loves water. So, we'll see when we get there. Um, it's what April. I still have a month to do some planning. I want to show y'all real quick before I go downstairs. 
y'all. Crazy. Crazy is this boy. For sure. I am. Where is it? You all up in my grill. No. No. Any other boy mom out there whose son just constantly pulls their hair and their earrings? Or is it not just a boy thing? Maybe it's just a baby thing. Maybe the girls do it too. But my son pulls my hair and my earrings constantly. It is crazy. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all. I'm in the process of making a book a photo book um on shutterfly.com those of you that don't know i worked for shutterfly for like two three years um yeah. i still use their services but i'm making a photo book right now of omari's first year obviously it's not gonna be done until july when he turns one um but yeah i done started making it it's going to be super cute. Basically, I'm going to do every month. Well, from when he was first born, one month, two months, you know, all the way up to eight months. I don't know if I want to include when I was pregnant. Maybe I'll include it. Maybe, you think? I might not include when I was pregnant. I might include... Um, like one ultrasound, but I think I want to do like a frame or a collage with when I was pregnant and his ultrasound pictures, honestly. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that I was making a photo book and it's really cute and I can't wait for it to come together. I will show you guys. I don't have everything in place right now, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited about it. And I just thought it was a cute little fun little project that I could work on um, for my baby for the next few months. Uh, what else? Also, <clears throat> Amari, uh-uh. No, no, no. Amari, do you hear me? Hey. No. Okay. But, um. <clears throat> Was there something else? Was there anything else, Amari? He said, I don't know. I'm ready to go play. Say, I don't know. Well, I'll probably remember when I'm downstairs, so let go. Oh, y'all, so I remember what I was going to tell y'all upstairs that I forgot. So, y'all, I was telling y'all yesterday that, um, oh, I don't want Miss Rachel to get this copyright. Hold on, Rachel. Hold on, Miss Rachel. I want my girl, Miss Rachel, to get this copyright. <laughs> But, um, oh, my baby. I'm going to turn it back on, okay? Um, I got some. This is my favorite bread right now, y'all. Adore it. But, um, I was telling y'all yesterday that my interview was next week. And I could have sworn it was next week. I could have sworn it was next Tuesday. Tell me why I look at my email and my interview ain't until two weeks from now and it's on a monday i don't know where i got my wires crossed yet but i was kind of upset about that because i'm really ready and excited to start working oh gotta keep that pacifier with me gotta keep it with me but um i'm really excited to start working so that was really disappointing but oh well so it's two weeks from now it's on the 17th which is a Monday, so it is what it is. Um, I got me some more protein shakes. 
ha. And I got some more fruit for my smoothies. I'm going to start back making some smoothies in the morning. Because I, ow! I think I was saying that I was having a smoothie every morning for breakfast at one point. But then I stopped. So, I'm going to start back doing that. With my protein. Um, yeah. Oh, I don't have anywhere to put y'all. Got to make some room in the fridge. Got to give Mari some more solids. He did not finish yesterday. But yeah, y'all, I was disappointed about that interview, but it's okay. It's coming. And, you know, maybe that'll just give me more time to prepare for it. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm trying to get back on my healthy stuff. So I got my fruit for my smoothies. I got my protein shakes. Um, I'm about to start working out, y'all. I got to figure something out. Um, it's so much easier for dads or for men, or I guess women without kids to work out. Like, D or Dre, whatever y'all call him, uh, <laughs> my boyfriend, he, he started working out at his job, which is great for him. I love that for him. But I don't know, it makes me, makes me feel bad, because I'm like, I can't go to Planet Fitness because they don't allow kids, and then the YMCA, that is, uh, the YMCA is $50 to $60 a month just to bring your kid. Um, I don't know any other gym that allows kids. I know uh, that one that allows kids, but we don't have one here where I am. The closest one is in South Carolina in, like, the York area. Um... So yeah, um, then there's an outdoor gym that I found at the park that I could go to. But I mean, we're in spring, so the weather is not giving what it should. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to rant real quick, vent maybe. But I'm about to start cooking, and I'm gonna turn my baby's Miss Rachel back on before he throw hands with me. So. Hi, all. So, I think the last time y'all saw us, I was getting ready to cook. What did I do after that? I think that's all I've been doing. All I've been doing is cooking. And being a mom. I ain't did much, but this is the final result of my... Bulgogi beef noodle stir fry. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, Mari. You want to come in the camera? You want to come in the camera? Say, hey, guys. Say, my mommy won't give me none of her food because it's spicy. Say, mommy won't give me none of her food. Say, mommy won't give me none. Here. A little taste. What you think? Oh, he say, I'm going for it. Oh, look at that. He say, oh, I ain't playing with it. Mmm, Good? Mmm, Good? He say, mmm, <laughs> Yes, y'all, my baby does eat table food. He he do. One more? Mm. Mm. Uh, you can't jump around and eat, though. If you're going to eat something, you got to sit. You got to sit. Give it 
too much. Mmm. 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 Mm. Yummy. Is it spicy? What you think? No, it's not spicy. Yummy. Oh yeah, he like it. And when my baby keep coming for it, he like it. Oh. Raw? Thumbs up. So now I'm going to feed Marty. What is this? Green beans. This is the green beans from yesterday. So, yeah. It's like, what, six o'clock now? Yeah, I haven't really did much today. I'll probably combine this vlog with yesterday's vlog since that one cut off a real short yesterday. So, boo! That's my sweet man. All right, y'all. So, we'll check in. <clears throat> I'm probably about to watch some lifetime because yes i'm one of those girls that watches lifetime i sure am i am not one of those that watches <gasps> dang i'm not one of those that watches reality tv I don't watch the reality shows. I don't watch the loving hip hops, the housewives. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. I watch documentaries. <laughs> I watch Lifetime. Um, I mean, I watch like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, stuff like that. The most you'll get out of me for reality TV was what. What I used to watch, Florida, uh, Florida, Bama Shore, but that was canceled. So, yeah, I used to watch reality TV back in the day. Mari, you are gonna fall, baby. Hop down. I used to watch reality TV back in the day, but it's not my thing. As an adult, that's not what I want to consume or spend my time in. So, yeah. Go play because it's almost bath time. I'll check in, y'all. Omari oh, just got out the tub. He just got out the tub, chunky butt. He just got out the tub, chunky butt. <laughs> <laughs> you got the tub, chunky <laughs> man. Mm. Now we finna get a massage. We might eat a little bit of green beans. Don't mind my shirt. I have a baby. I don't think I really need to explain. But, um, you gonna show everybody your goodies. You gonna show your goodies. But, um, I'm gonna get him a diaper on. Get some lotion on him. We'll probably eat some green beans and do our little nightly massage. Let me go before he show y'all his goodies. Oh. Alright y'all, so 
Omari is sleeping, as y'all saw in the last clip. He's been, no, I'm vlogging. Um, he's been asleep for about 45 minutes or so. So now this is pretty much just when I pick up around the house. Pretty much the kitchen and living room. Just pick up the day pretty much. So that's what I'm doing now. This week I've been testing out like this earlier bedtime with Omari because his bedtime was nine o'clock just because of that was what was easiest for me to do. Um, it's what worked with my lifestyle. But I did a lot of Googling, a lot of watching YouTube. Y'all know as I do. And you know, I kept saying the ideal bedtime was between seven and eight. Um, so I'm starting to put him to bed at eight. And so, yeah, I'll see how this do. Hopefully, I can keep it up. And then also because, like, with waking him up in the morning, or with him waking up his stuff in the morning, I feel like 9 o'clock is too late to be waking up. Um, so... I bumped it up to 8 for his bedtime and then 8 for his wake up time. Maybe one day my life will be so in order for me to be able to do 7 but I ain't got to like that right now. So basically I try to keep up with my kitchen and my living room daily so that it doesn't become overwhelming because I know me if I just let it go it'll pile up and that'll stress me out because I don't like clutter I don't like mess um, And if it becomes too cluttered or too messy, it makes me anxious. <laughs> and then I don't want to do it at all. So I got to keep up with it for my sanity. <laughs> and then it's also part of my self care. Um, just keeping things neat and orderly, pretty much. Okay. Then after this, I'll go to the living room. Um, the living room is usually just toys from Amari. Playing. And then whatever Dre leave around. Wow. I too, oh, I thought he was responding to what I said. He he talking to people again. But <laughs> But after that then I'ma go do that laundry that I've been telling y'all I needed to do. That laundry I've been meaning to do ain't got around to it and I'll probably watch me like some YouTube videos or a, uh, or a movie while I hang it the little treat I find that as moms or wives girlfriends girl, women period we kind of have to find a treat <laughs> in small things 
So, not saying that, you know, like women don't get treats. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like, uh, it's a constant repetitive cycle of doing, 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 doing. Whether you're doing for other people or doing for the house or doing for yourself, uh, it don't stop. <laughs> it's like, it's not a job. You don't clock out. You don't clock out for the day and go home. You kind of keep going. Um, so I follow treats in the things that I do. And my treat is going to be being able to watch me a Lifetime movie while I hang the clothes. <laughs> it's the little thing. So, I'm going to put these leftovers up. I showed y'all my, my bowl, but this is the pot. We still got a lot left. It was actually pretty good. I could have used a little bit more sauce, but I thought it was pretty good. Let's see. So. Yeah, so I'll finish picking up around the house and then go sit down, do some laundry. What else I said I gotta do? Oh, I was gonna prep, like try to prep a little bit of dinner for tomorrow. Um, then do the laundry if I still have time. I forgot I was gonna food prep or meal prep. Um, what was the last thing? Oh, I forgot. Oh, I was going to try to work on some of my classwork, but that may have to wait till tomorrow. Because one thing I want to do tonight is definitely take me another shower. So, yeah. And this ain't even, <laughs> it's, it's just because it's not like, you know, I done got hella dirty since the last shower. I ain't been nowhere really doing nothing. But, um, I just want to stand under the water for real. I just want to stand under some hot water. So. Yeah. And I really like taking my showers in the middle of the night. Um, as opposed to during the day. Because during the day, Omari has to be in the bathroom with me. If I take a shower. Or... <clears throat> If I take one while he naps, he might wake up. So I just, yeah. Cause how his crib is set up, his crib is literally like right there against the wall where the shower's at. Like the shower, the crib and the shower are against the same wall. So. Seems like at night, like when he's in that deep sleep, he's less likely to get up as opposed to a nap when he's in lighter sleep. love water. I really do. There's so many people who don't like water. 
can't relate. I'm just gonna throw these noodles away because look at that. Look at that. I had to leave them and hurry up and go take Mari upstairs and get him ready for bed because he was really cranky. Your mama, you know, we be having stains on us all the time. Don't even know what the hell it is for real. <clears throat> I'll probably do a time lapse right here. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Leave no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me love, everything about you.
Schoolwork. I went to sleep. So, see you tomorrow.